Hey guys, how's it going? Heather Lind from Holy Fit here. Got your Holy Fit daily sweat. And I'm just gonna share it with some groups. So it's gonna take me a couple of seconds here, a couple of minutes to set that up. So remember these workouts are short and no equipment necessary. So you can do them anywhere. I'm trying to make it as convenient as possible for you to work some physical fitness into your day. Uh, just because it feels really good <laughs> and it's good for you all right so share this in a few places hope you guys are off to a great start today going into the last long weekend of the summer school starting for the kids pretty soon Sorry to be so excited, but that's when my studio gets really busy. <laughs> so I'm excited about that. It's a good time for fitness studios this time of year. <laughs> and hopefully the people who are really gung-ho will continue to keep coming. Because I know a lot of people, September and January is the other time, um, got the greatest intentions. You're all excited. You start strong and then something happens and you're thrown off and then you stop coming and you know it's too bad but if um, if you're the type who does that um, make a deal with yourself that you will put in one full month at least two days per week and after that period of time it's probably gonna be a part of your schedule and um, it'll be easier for you to keep coming it'll be easier for you to fit into your day and you'll actually probably start to miss it if you don't show up so just make that commitment to yourself one month and if after a month you're hating it then give yourself permission to try something different um, but uh, yeah make that commitment because all it is with new habits is just being consistent with it until it becomes a normal habit for you and um, I've had to do it with my fitness and with my nutrition and all sorts of things so I know that when you put in that consistent effort, it does after a while just become a normal part of your life and then it's, it just feels good and you'll miss it if you don't do it. So that's my little talk for today. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you these exercises. Uh, make sure you warm up uh, five to 10 minutes. I'd recommend a good 10 minutes for this one because this one's a little bit challenging. Um, I've titled it Challenge Yourself. Um, and it's a ladder and you're gonna be starting with 70 reps, working your way down to 10 reps of something. So I'm gonna show you those exercises. Um, and I just put in the instructions to repeat as many times as possible. So one time through might be exactly enough or if you feel like you wanna do more, you go for it. Just make sure that your form is perfect. If you're starting to fall apart on your form, you have to take a break. And also keep in mind that going through the circuit, you don't have to get through the entire circuit without resting. So if you're getting to a point where you're feeling overwhelmed, especially if you start to feel a little dizzy or nauseous, you guys, you have to back it off right away. Listen to your body. As you get stronger, you'll be able to push harder, but don't try to push beyond what you're ready for because what will happen is you'll have a really bad experience and then you won't want to do it again. So you want to have a positive experience here. So I'm going to show you these exercises. I promise you it'll be fun. And I'm assuming you've already warmed up. So remember five or 10 minutes just moving around. If you have a piece of uh, like a stationary bike or something at home, you can use that or go for a walk or whatever. Just move your body around for a good five or 10 minutes before you start this. All right, first exercise. Pulsing squats, you're gonna do 70 of them. So you're gonna get nice and low, stick your butt out, you need a pulse for 70 reps. So from the side, it's looking like this. See how far back my butt's going? It's like I'm gonna sit down into a chair. What I would even recommend is doing this over a chair or a couch or a bench. And then you just tap down, come up, tap down, come up. So that you're going down far enough and your weight's going back through your heels, you're not feeling your knees. So 70 of those. Then 60, six zero, <laughs> mountain climbers. And you're gonna count them one, two. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 60. Low impact is here. You can also do this from your knees. It feels a little awkward, but you can do it from your knees. Uh, try to keep those hands underneath your shoulders. In other words, you're not coming back here. That's a lot of stress on the shoulder joints. So try to keep them right under the shoulders as you do your 60 mountain climbers. Then on your back, 50 pulsing glute bridges. So you're on your back, lift your hips up nice and high, squeeze your butt and pulse. You're gonna do 50 of those, keeping your abs tight, keeping your butt really, really tight. Then you have 40 tricep dips. So you can do those on the floor. Just lift your butt up, 
tricep dip. So the range of motion is a little bit small on this because of the position. Um, if you want, you can get onto a chair, a couch, or a bench. Just make sure you have it pushed up against a wall so it doesn't slip back underneath you because <laughs> you don't want to hurt yourself. So you're gonna go 40 of those. Then you got 30 plyo lunges, counting them as one, two as well. So it's gonna be one, two, three, up to 30. So make sure you're getting a good, nice wide stance on that. So the front knee is staying over the heel. You're squeezing your butt and you're not feeling your knees. So 30 of those, if you wanna do low impact, get a little low, go one, two, three. Notice how I'm going quick on that. It's because I wanna get a cardio effect out of that. So 30 of those, then 20 side lunges. So you're gonna go one, two, three, all the way up to 20. So notice on the side lunge, when I step out, hips are going way back, weights through my heel. I'm squeezing my butt nice and tight. The stationary leg stays straight. So when you're in this position, you're gonna feel a good stretch in that inner thigh. So you do 20 of those. And then finally, you're gonna do 10 dive bomber push-ups. So for a dive bomber push-up, you're starting kind of like you're in the child's pose. You're gonna dive through your hands, push up and push back. Through your hands, push up and push back. From your knees, start almost like a child's pose, nice and low, and then push up, go back, nice and low, push up. Now if you have shoulder issues and that is not an option for you, your option will be to do a plank from your elbows for one minute. So you can have your knees down on the ground if you like for this, or have them up. If you start to feel your low back, make sure you bring them down to the ground. So you would hold that for one minute. So that is one circuit. So you might do that and be like, okay, I'm done. And that's fine. Yeah, at least you did something physically active today. Um, if you feel like doing more, go for it, but make sure that your form is perfect so you don't injure yourself, okay? If you're too fatigued, it's not a good idea to push yourself because that's where injuries usually happen. And then when you're done, you're gonna do some stretches. So you can grab an ankle, stretch your quadriceps. You're holding these. 20 to 30 seconds minimum. Hamstring stretch, make sure the weight's going back through the heel of the bent supporting leg. And you get those glutes, crossing one leg over. Grab some more balance if you need it. And you're gonna do a nice chest opener. It's my favorite, I love doing this, this stretch. Get those triceps as well, you're gonna need it after doing all those dips. 20 to 30 seconds per stretch, you guys. Make sure that you do it. And then that's it. And then you're done and you're gonna feel awesome. You're gonna have tons of energy. Your mood is gonna be better. You're gonna be like, oh, I'm so glad I did that. <laughs> if you don't believe me, try it. <laughs> All right, guys, I gotta go. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below or you can always send me a private message. I'm always happy to chat. Have an awesome weekend, guys. See ya.